Something unusual is happening behind the scenes, and it's much bigger than a standard defense update. Because this time, a major regional power has quietly placed itself inside Pakistan's next-generation fighter program, and the ripple effects of this move could permanently reshape Pakistan's future in air power. For years, cooperation between Pakistan and Saudi Arabia has mostly meant economic ties, energy support, training, or logistics. But after the recent defense agreement, something shifted. Instead of staying in the background, Saudi Arabia has started showing interest in Pakistan's most ambitious aviation project yet, the Next Generation PFX Fighter Program. And for the first time, that interest isn't symbolic. It's technical, it's financial, and it's deeply strategic. Saudi engineers are preparing to receive training inside Pakistan. At the same time, Saudi funding is aligning itself with the very program that will define the next era of Pakistan's Air Force. And the obvious question is, why PFX? The answer is simple. Even if Saudi Arabia eventually inducts the F-35, it won't operate it in huge numbers. The F-35 is expensive, politically sensitive, and meant for very specific missions. What every modern Air Force needs alongside a stealth jet is a second platform, something modern, reliable, affordable, and sovereign. A fighter that does the everyday work, basically the backbone of the fleet. For Saudi Arabia, or for Pakistan, and honestly for every serious Air Force, the future lies in a mix. One stealth platform for first-day dominance, and one next-gen multi-role fighter for everything else. And that second fighter, that backbone, is exactly what PFX is being built to become. Most people still think PFX is just another fighter. It isn't. It's the bridge between Pakistan's current 4.5 generation aircraft and its future fifth generation stealth jets like the J-35. It's designed to lead the front line while stealth platforms open the airspace and deal with high value targets. In other words, Pakistan is building the same two-tier structure used by the world's most advanced air forces, just customized for its own requirements. But here's where things get really interesting. Everyone wants to know where the PFX will actually be built, and the answer might already exist. Pakistan Aeronautical Complex Kamra has a complete JF-17 Block III production line, a massive engineering base, and decades of fighter manufacturing experience. But the real hidden treasure is something most people overlook, the Mirage Rebuild Factory. For over 30 years, this enormous facility has handled major structural overhauls, complex upgrades, and deep engineering work on Mirages. It houses engine test cells, RF labs, wind tunnels, precision machining equipment, and a veteran workforce that has solved some of the toughest aviation problems Pakistan has ever faced. And now, for the first time in decades, the Mirage era is closing. Within the next two to four years, the entire Mirage fleet will retire. And when that happens, this massive, high-tech facility becomes wide open. And when you look at the timing, it's almost too perfect. PFX is entering its development and scaling phase at the exact moment the Mirage facility becomes available. The JF-17 Block III line is already booked for years, exports are underway, engineering resources are stretched, and then suddenly, a huge, battle-proven aircraft production ecosystem becomes free. You don't need to build anything from scratch, you just need to redirect it. This is what long-term planning looks like. What makes this even more interesting is the silent international support lining up in the background. China is preparing advanced composite manufacturing tools, Turkey is sharing modern aviation processes, and now Saudi Arabia is stepping in with both financial muscle and technical manpower. This is no longer a single country fighter program. It's becoming a multinational aviation ecosystem centered in Pakistan. And when multiple partners converge on one goal, development accelerates, capabilities grow, and what looked ambitious suddenly becomes achievable. It's still early. Things are moving carefully, quietly, deliberately. But the direction is now impossible to ignore. Pakistan is shaping a layered, future-proof air power structure built around J-35 class stealth aircraft and PFX as the next generation multi-role backbone. And with Saudi Arabia now stepping into the program, the PFX is no longer just a concept, it's becoming real. We may not know everything that's happening behind the scenes, but when a massive facility like the Mirage Rebuild Factory lines up perfectly with a next-gen fighter program, when its workforce, tools, and infrastructure match exactly what the PFX needs. Make sure to like and subscribe to Troop Strike for important updates. Thanks for watching.